Hey there, knife hubbers. Today, I want to talk about the Boker Plus Quiken Flippers. We have quite a few of these in stock, with a nice variety too. They're honestly a really fantastic choice. If you're looking for a really slim or discreet everyday carry, come with a nice little zip-up pouch too. Great as an office knife, but they can handle most cutting or especially piercing tasks with ease. They're well made, they're fun to use. Let's look at some of them up close. So, the Quiken models were designed by Lucas Burnley, who's a professional knife maker and designer who started his own folding and fixed blade knife business in 2003, Burnley Knives. If you've ever seen some of his pieces, you'd know he really likes Japanese daggers and Japanese-influenced designs, which is what the Quiken is. It literally is the name of a Japanese dagger, defined by a long, sleek blade with clean lines and uh, a nice, simple aesthetic. And uh, here are the well, I have two minis, and I wanted to compare it to something that it reminds me of, the CRKT CEO. And let's see, yeah, it did stand up. The Quiken is very similar, but I think it's still a bit of an all-around upgrade. It's lighter, it's a little shorter, for what that's worth, and I prefer the flipper tab, and the biggest pro for me is the tip-up carry configuration, compared to the CRKT CEO tip-down carry. And you cannot change that clip either. So... I've got two of the minis here, one with jade and a black blade, and a stonewashed titanium scaled version. Uh, we also at the store, I don't have it here, but we have a Coca Bolo wood version, and that's really pretty. Um, they're all available at the store right now at the filming of this video. Uh, links will be in the description, and I guess Coca Bolo is now an endangered wood, so I'd imagine it's not going to make appearances on knives or anything else for much longer, which is sad because it has a really nice deep color and grain. Uh, by the way, prices on these knives vary a bit. This is the full-size error. Um, the Jade version is $63.71, which is the lowest. The all-black full-size is just shy of 100 and the titanium scaled is $105. Uh, and I also have a Quiken Titan, the big boy, the big Quiken Flipper, which is awesome, and I will talk about this one a little more uh, later in the video. Though most of the points that I make on these errors are going to apply to the Titan. It's just a full-size Quiken folding knife, essentially, and it's awesome. So, my favorite is probably the Jade G10. I like them all, but I just love Jade. And when you pair this with the black blade, I love the way this looks. With the black liners, that contrast, it's so cool. This is a sharp-looking knife. No pun intended. I mean, maybe intended. It is sharp. It has a VG10 blade, which is a really nice mid-range steel. Easy to sharpen. Holds an edge fairly well and has above average corrosion resistance. Lower toughness, but, you know, I hope you're not planning on using this as a pry bar or anything because, well, that's not really what this knife is intended to do, you know? This is more of a letter opener, a box slicer, carry when you're dressed up, carry at the office, etc., etc. Takes a bit of practice, by the way, to open and close this reliably. I've seen people pick this knife up, and if you're not paying good attention, you try to flip it open, and it does that. Um... And they keep sh uh, shopping, and they might write this one off because it's not immediately straightforward on how to open. So the trick is to roll your finger all the way through and down. And just like that, it snaps open really quick, satisfying. And, you know, your hand is left in a perfect position to use the knife. And it's a smaller tab, which is exactly what this knife needs and should have because it won't snag and it barely impacts the already super slim profile of the knife. One-handed closing is a bit of a delicate procedure, and take your time because it's easy to drop the knife or close it a little too aggressively, just because it's so small and you can't really get a good purchase of it on it when you're doing a one-handed close. Um, I'm scared to drop it, so I don't like closing it with one hand. It's really nice and easy to close with two hands anyway. I mean, you know, and watch it even with doing that because if you keep your fingers in the way, you know, that blade will get you. I got bit a little bit on the thumb earlier by... This one, actually, and I was paying pretty close attention to what I was doing. So they all come equipped with a deep carry, right hand tip up pocket clip. Nice and discreet, and uh, the clip's not too stiff either. It feels pretty good for its size. It's secure without chewing up your pocket, and it's not too hard to retrieve from your pocket either. Truly, last but not least, we have the one I've been waiting to show you because I love it. The Quiken Titan Flipper. 
which funny enough, <laughs> let me show you this. The airs and air minis come in this box. Well, it's upside down. They come in this box. And this big Titan comes in this box. <laughs> Somebody explain that to me. Maybe Boker changed their boxes. I'm not sure. Anyway. So this one price is at $178.99. And this knife can accomplish a bit more than the errors. Which should be obvious. But it has nice thick liners. Smooth titanium scales. Looks really nice. And the blade has a fairly thick spine. So it can definitely stand up to a bit more abuse. Despite the sleek profile. Also uses VG10 steel. And it probably doesn't need to be said, but it's much heavier than the Air, which should be obvious, but I have to say it anyway. A few more differences between this and the Airs. No deep carry clip on this one. It's got to fit in your pocket, though, so it's to be expected. The flipper tab is also a bit more rounded on the Titan, which I suppose would lend itself to be more comfortable in your pocket. You won't get poked by the tab if you're sitting down, for example. Generally less pokey sharp points around the handle, and interfering with good ergonomics is a good thing. And due to its size, it's also significantly easier to operate with one hand. Very, very smooth, open, and closing action. I really like it a lot. So, that's about it for these today. I hope you guys thought that these knives were cool. I hope you think they're as cool as I think they are. And if you'd consider picking one up for now or in the future, check the links in the description for all these Quackens. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to showing you guys more new knives every week. Hopefully soon we will have some true new products show up. New models. New never seen before goodies because I know how much everybody wants to see that stuff. I do too. So thanks for watching. And until next time guys. Bye.